This video covers the process of adjusting engine valve clearance on a Yanmar four-cylinder engine. This includes finding top dead center, checking the valve clearance, and adjusting the clearance if necessary. The first step is to remove the rocker arm cover. The next step is to remove the round cover plug from the timing mark access hole in the bell housing. Loosen injector lines at the injector nozzles to prevent any possibility of the engine starting. Use a 19 millimeter socket wrench to turn the engine over clockwise from the crank pulley side of the engine. Turn the engine over slowly until you see the 1-4 timing mark on the flywheel. Then line it up with the index mark in the bore of the access hole. Inspect the rocker arms for cylinder number one, which is closest to the flywheel, and cylinder number four. Both valves should be loose on one of the two cylinders. If they are somewhat loose on both cylinders, rotate the engine clockwise a bit past the 1-4 mark. A valve on one of the two cylinders should start to close. If a valve on cylinder number one starts closing, it's not on the compression stroke, and you'll need to rotate the engine one full turn or 360 degrees until the 1-4 timing mark lines up again. If a valve on number four starts to close, you're at top dead center of the compression stroke for cylinder number one and can begin adjusting valves. This illustration shows which valves can be adjusted when cylinder number one or number four are at top dead center of the compression stroke. You can find this illustration in the unit maintenance manual. Using a feeler gauge, check the valve clearance for both valves of cylinder number one. Also check the intake valve for cylinder number two and the exhaust valve for cylinder number three. Intake and exhaust valves have the same specification, six thousandths to ten thousandths of an inch or 15 to 25 millimeters. Adjust valves if necessary by loosening the lock nut and turn the adjustment screw until the valve clearance is correct. Then hold the setting of the adjustment screw and tighten the lock nut. Recheck the clearance. If the valve clearance decreased when you tightened the lock nut, try again while holding the adjustment screw a little farther open. After adjusting the first four valves, rotate the engine one full turn or 360 degrees clockwise from the pulley side of the engine. Align the 1-4 timing mark on the flywheel with the index mark in the access hole. This is top dead center of the compression stroke for cylinder number four. Check clearance and adjust as needed the exhaust valve for cylinder number two, the intake valve for cylinder number three, and both valves for cylinder number four. 
In this case, all valves were at eight thousandths of an inch or 20 millimeters and no adjustment was needed. Next, replace the rocker arm cover, the cover for the timing mark access hole, and tighten the fuel injector lines. This is the end of this procedure. Thank you for your time.